James, thank you very much for, for speaking to us. Um, obviously a really difficult loss uh, in the first match and the team was able to get two days off just you know for everybody to go out and to think and reflect um how important was that time to just get away and to to get that reflection time yeah i think that time was exactly for that um for guys i guess individually to to reflect on their own performances um have a deep look at themselves and see how how they can be better coming in um, into the next game, you know, we've had that conversation as a team um, And I guess today is the start of us, you know, looking for ways as how we can, get, we can get better Without getting into too much detail, is there Would you be able to share just um, some of the conversations that took place um, today before the start of training? Yeah, I think it was I mean all around honesty, honesty regarding our performances, the fact that you know, what we produced out there um, in that two-day test match wasn't good enough. Um, that's not the standards we, we pride ourselves on. And we know that um, in all three disciplines, the batting, bowling, and the fielding, we have to improve, you know. So, I mean, that's the, you know, that was the conversation today. Um, and I guess the training, the skill, the skill part of it will be around how we can be better. The conditions look like they're changing quite a bit, particularly when it comes to the weather. Mm. It's quite hot, it's much hotter than it was last week. Um, do you think that that will affect the the way that things go um, going forward? Uh, I do think so. Um, you know, the test match we started it with overhead conditions and we saw how that um, assisted bowling quite a bit. Um, so I guess with the sun out, you know, I think it does make it a bit more pleasant to, to bet on. Um, I think maybe also managing our energies, that's something also that we'll have to we we'll have to um, look after, you know, in terms of that heat. If we find ourselves spending um, hours within the field, um, but yeah, we do expect. I guess conditions do to be a bit different with the sun shining. Um, in terms of um, the team getting those those two days of rest, um, there was a lot of conversation around energies and how low the energies were last week. Uh, do you think that the guys have gotten that opportunity to recharge and just to recalibrate and, and start afresh? How are the guys looking today? Mm. No, I mean, the guys are very chirpy. Um, guys, are, guys are back to their smiles. Um, yes, the energies were low on day one, you know, um, but I mean, that's no, that's no excuse really. So, look, I mean, with extra two days, you know, you'd use it the way that you want to use it. But I think the main thing is to make sure that we are in a better mental state, better physical state to to compete out there. And as a leadership group, how do you guys look after just the mental side of things, particularly um, the emotional side as well um, of the players around you? Yeah, so I think, I mean, it starts with those conversations. Um, it starts with us being honest um, and understanding that, you know, the performance that we put out there simply weren't good enough. But then at the same time, it's about reminding the guys that, you know, um, over the last while, over the last couple of months as a team, we've, we've overcome a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, the situation that we are in, it's not one that is foreign to us. Um, so we know how it is to come back um, from behind. Um, we know how it is to come back when our back's against the wall. Um, we have that feeling, you know, so to have that confidence in each other in the team that we do have what it takes from a character point of view to to do what we need to do and obviously one hurdle does not make a bad team right it's been quite a successful summer well quite a successful 12 months um for this for this test team especially looking back at that india tour the tour against the west indies in west indies as well um do you guys remind one another of those things as well that you know just one match does not break all the work that has been done apart yeah definitely i think that's where our confidence comes from um in knowing how we've performed um in the last while um and i think not just in test cricket but looking at all the formats you know um i think there's a lot there's a lot of positive that we can take from as a team um and again we know you know what happened yesterday or a week ago, a month ago, that's gone. You know, it's important how you come back 
um, and show and show yourselves up. Um, so, I mean, us looking forward to this game. We know that's going to be the most important thing for us. That's going to be the biggest thing for us as a group. And you know, we'll be preparing ourselves um, as best as we can to to put our best foot forward. And how are you feeling personally, um, mm -hmm. just as a batsman, and looking back at your own personal performance in the last Test match? Uh, how am I feeling? Um, look, it's obviously hard to separate the team, the team's cause to, to one's individual cause, um, especially after the performance like that. Um, look, I mean, with, with, with where I am with my game, I think probably there's more positives than anything. Um, I'm not, not down and out, um, not disappointed in myself. But I think you know, as I've always said, you know, the team is in a space where we need we need someone to, to put up their hand, you know, um, and and do it for the team, you know. So for me, as much as yes, my form has been decent over the last while, but until that, you know, it's still a bit of a, a concern for the team. Um, I won't be fully happy with myself. I think. In the last few months, you've definitely been one of the standout, you know, good news stories coming out of the team. What have you been working on, like in terms of specifics around your own personal performance, around your batting? Um, how do you keep such a calm head, particularly when wickets are tumbling all around you? Yeah, I think, I mean, it's helped that I've played a fair number of games, you know, um, of Test cricket. So, I guess there's an acceptance that. You know, there will be good days, there will be bad days. Um, enjoy the enjoy the good days. And then the bad days, try to put things into perspective. Um, those bad days don't, they don't um, dictate who you are. You know, you don't become a bad player because you haven't scored runs in a certain game. But I think it's important as well that you take whatever lessons there are um, in those days. Um, I think within the team, probably there's a bit of more clarity um, and at peace with where I am, understanding what my role is within the team, how I fit in, how I fit in. Um, not just so much about the betting and the, and the currency of runs, but in terms of my my presence within the team, um, in terms of how how I contribute towards building the culture and environment within the team. And I think I'm just trying to think now. Um, on top of my head, that's probably something that's helped me to be a bit more ease with where I fit in the team. It's not a case of, you know, every game is a, is, is, is your last opportunity type of thing to, to cement your position within the team. Um, and I guess from a technical point of view, I don't, honestly, I don't think there's much that I've worked on. Um, you know, maybe I've tinkered there and there without even me knowing. Um, trying to be as still as I can when the ball has been released. But from a technical thing, there's not much. I think it's more, it's more a mental. It's been more a mental process. Um, and just enjoying the game. Yeah. So basically, a lot can be said and can be done in terms of, or a lot can be said about a player's confidence when they feel as though they're being backed, and that you know that kind of gives them a little bit more surety and settles you down, particularly if you're going through a bit of bad running form. Yeah, I think all players want that. Um, I mean, I remember coming in as a new player within within the setup, within the Proteus. You know, the the main thing that you wanted was to be accepted amongst amongst the team, amongst everybody. And I mean, the best way to do that is is, is through your performances. Um, so yeah, I mean, I made a point where you know I believe, you know, I truly believe that you know I'm accepted within the team, I'm valued within the team. Um, like I said, my presence, my, my input, uh, my value add. And that's probably the reason I would think why my performances, I guess, have been good um, over the last over the last one. Mm. Dean has spoken quite extensively about his relationship with you and how much he enjoys um, you know, having you as a vice captain and as a valued member of this leadership group. Um, what is what are, is that relationship like for you? Uh, just having someone like that also um, to be able to maybe bounce some things off of or some ideas. Yeah, I think I mean, Dean and I, 
you know, I've played alongside Dean for, for quite a while. Um, when I started playing SAA in 2012-2013, Dean was one of the main players in that SAA side. And I guess from there we got along. Um, I think the relationship has always been one built on built on honesty, um, not not any bullshit. Um, um, I can use that word. You know, Dean's a very blunt type of person. You know, if you're straying, you know, he'll he'll call you out, and if you and if you're good, he'll let you know as well. And I guess maybe for me as a character, that's something that you know kind of resonated or, or did well for with me um, and I guess we've built the respect where you know he's he also wants that type of feedback from from me um, and I think obviously being his being his right hand man being his vice captain um, you know trying to be his I guess calming voice you know Dean can can be emotional at times um, but I think it works it works quite hand in hand um, with each other, you know, I understand his his vision as a, as a captain and what he would like to achieve. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna say it, but you know, I back it. I back it 100%. Um, back him as a leader. Back him as a player, undoubtedly. Um, and for me, it's to just try help um, and serve him as best as he can, so he can execute his, I guess, vision out for the team. Nice. And finally. Does, do those two visions tie in together, considering that you're the white ball captain? How much conversation takes place between the two of you in terms of how you're going to take the whole Proteus brand and the team forward into going into the future? Yeah, they definitely speak to each other. Um, they're not any different. You know, we'd like to, we'd like to bring that, just that respect to the, to the Proteus badge. We'd like to leave the Proteus in a much better state. Um, then it then it's in or that it was in when we came in um, in the leadership home. Um, we have frequent conversations and um, engagements, albeit Dean is not as a player involved in the white ball stuff um, but from a cultural point of view, from an environment point of view, um, he's he's as involved as anyone um, and, and and he knows that. So yeah, I mean, we're there to support each other. Um, we're in, we're in this cause, we're in this fight together. Um, his success is, is my success, and vice versa.